It sounds like a nuclear attack alert. Or an air raid warning alarm. In a way, this is a warning alarm. Coming from our planet. Hey, Kieran here. This is the sound of an ice shelf breaking off Antarctica. Just in July 2017, a trillion ton iceberg broke off Larsen Sea ice shelf. I could throw around numbers like a trillion tons or 5,800 square kilometers, or I could compare it to the size of the US state of Delaware, or half the size of Australia's Sydney. But our brains can't comprehend these numbers or sizes in a real life sense that we can relate to. So it can be hard to understand the magnitude of what is really going on. Ice shelves break from time to time, but this is increasing due to climate change, which is anthropogenic. Climate change is happening, that's a fact. Now, for those of you who choose not to accept the overwhelming evidence for this, It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> I get that some of us don't want to think that our everyday actions are hurting people close to us and around us, but just sweeping it under the rug isn't an effective way of fixing the problem. You've probably heard that we need to limit the climate's warming to 2 degrees Celsius, but we experience temperature swings of more than 10 degrees Celsius every single day, between day and night. So why does 2 or even 3 or even 4 degrees make a difference? Now, this is an average global temperature. Uh, this is different to day-to-day -day weather. Let's say of an average three degrees warming for the globe, that actually means that the land will be averaging a four degree increase because land heats up quicker than water. And so for the land that's near the equator, it won't actually be four degrees, it will be more like eight degrees. And so that means on top of this eight degrees increase, we'll still be getting our usual heat waves of positive 15 degrees. So that means on a day of 25 degrees, Add 8 is 32, add 15, we're approaching 50 very quickly. And so this is the problem with climate change. It compounds other weather and climate actions that are already happening and makes them worse and become more extreme. Here's the thing about climate change. Adding more energy into the system doesn't simply make everything hotter. It makes the extremes become worse. That means our cold winters aren't simply just going to get a little bit more comfortable. We need some global warming. It's freezing! They will likely experience colder snaps, higher snowfall and things like that. These increasing temperature extremes will contribute to an expanding ocean sea level rise, which could see almost every single coastal city inundated before 2100. Those who live on the coast, say goodbye. But those who have never been to the coast, it's about to get a whole lot easier for you. <laughs> there will be more severe rainfall and flash flooding, which will ruin crops and create food shortages. Droughts will become worse and affect places that are normally abundant in water. And also because of this, wildfires are going to become more frequent and more intense. Entire regions will become uninhabitable for periods of time. Storms are becoming stronger and more frequent. The ocean is acidifying and in turn losing its capacity to store carbon for us, while also killing off ocean life that we need to provide our food and provide environmental services like water filtration. The thermohaline circulation could also weaken or totally shut down. Now this is one of those global currents that kind of go around the whole world, kind of like those turtles in Finding Nemo. These extreme events will become more common if we continue business as usual. But we have the technology and the economy to be able to repair what we've done. The best thing is, collective action has saved us before. Remember the ozone hole shenanigan in the southern hemisphere? We were using a substance called CFCs in copious amounts. We were using it in our refrigerators and in our air conditioners. We were using it to deodorize our rooms and polish our furniture. And we were even using it in the production for styrofoam and foam rubber. But the scientists figured out that using CFCs so much was causing a hole in the ozone layer in the atmosphere. And so governments around the world band together to ban the use of CFCs. And as a result, now that ozone hole is actually replenishing. Our actions have fixed the climate catastrophe that we created. We hear about the impacts of climate change quite often, to the point of saturation, but we don't often hear about how our actions in the past have actually saved climate catastrophes. And that, we can do it again.